Hey, what's up, guys? It's Team Hard Life Captain Alex Sakuchi. And man, we are busy, busy, which is good. We definitely needed it. But we've got this accurate right here. And he says he's got a fray in there. He doesn't know where. So he wants me to take it down, take out the fray, which means with a solid braid, I'm going to cut it right there and then add on a bunch of marrow from that point on. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up so I can down spool it and find that fray but I'm gonna put it onto a spool just in case on the by chance that maybe it's the wrong reel or something like that we can put the braid back on but uh, it's just a little precautionary measure on my behalf because otherwise then if I do it the opposite way where I trash the braid right off the bat um, we'd lose everything so Stress on my mind, it's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line, I'm a caller, the whole team. I'll get it off real quick. And this is the same reel, y'all saw me pull the, the mono off. You're trashing the mono, so that I wasn't worried about. But the braid is just a, it's another thing. You know? Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just the tip of this, that's it. Oh, okay. Alright, right, so I think I found the fray he's talking about, and it's right there. So, cut it there. So we're throwing 125 pound mono on top <clears throat> as a top shot. So see how much. So with this setup, we are going to be doing the same thing that I did with the 14 up. I'm going to be doing a bimini twist on the solid braid, and then I'm going to kick the mono to it by using a worm knot. This is probably the strongest setup that I have found that allows you to go from solid braid to a heavy mono like that in basically a stair system. By also doubling up the braid where it connects to the mono, kind of ensures better tie point that I see and it actually rolls through the guys pretty easily especially on rollers these small or this small should I say that the guy is using on <clears throat> his rod and stuff like that and you know it applies for this as well so we are going to be doing what we need to do to get his maximum line capacity on this accurate I wish there was a way that the machine would disengage from there so I don't have to keep doing this but maybe someday I'll have enough money to reinvent it for myself. <laughs>
to wait there to see what he likes and double check it. So we'll see what happens in a bit.